Okay, this is grades, grade eight, chapter five, part one, surface area. So when we talk about surface area, this is gonna be nets as well, but when we talk about, there's three key terms. Uh, face, which is a flat or curved surface. So the face, there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, six different faces on this uh, square rectangle that we have. For the vertex, it's a point where three or more edges meet. But if it's just two, it would just be an edge or a line segment where two faces meet. So if there, if there are three edges, it's a vertex. If it's two, it's an edge. So um, example one, we need to draw and label top, front, and side views using blank paper. Draw on top, front, and side view of these. A, uh, the top view of this would look like this, and there would be the hole where the Kleenex comes through. So that would be the top view of this. The side view would be a little bit bigger, and that's the side view of this. And the front view of this Kleenex looks like this, because that's the front view. This would be the front, this would be the top, and this would be the side view right here. And I'll change the color so you can see that. This is the side view right there. So if we have the top, the, f the top, which would be looking down from here, the top view would, would just look like this. The side view looking from this side would be, again, tall and skinny, but, but uh, still there. And then the front view, which would be right here, would look like this. And you can include the CD, but you don't have to. So using a blank p uh, blank paper, draw the front, top, and side views of this object. So you should pause this at home, and and you should try this. So uh, if you're if you're back, this is it. So here's the front view, and then you can separate it. That's the front view. The side view, looking at it from this side would be this because all we're going to see is this side here and then all the way up here and all that is the top view is again looking at it from this side here so if we're going to draw the top view it looks like this with if you wanted to separate it there would be four and the side view here would be there would be three I know my lines are off, but that's the way it is. So, yeah. Um, example two, sketch a three-dimensional object when given view. So if we know that the top looks like that, the front looks like that, and the side looks like that, we know that it's going to look like here. I'm going to start with the front. One, two, three, four. And I'm a terrible artist. One, two, three, four. I think. One, two three, four, that's the front. The side, we know that it's only one deep, so it's going to go to here. We're going to connect that over. And the top is only, so it's, we know it's only one, one block by one block, and we have this, a staircase here. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. So when we do this, and this is way easier with these dots. Hoo wee! I'm an artist in the making here. Maybe I screwed it up. Anyways, that's kind of what it looks like from the top, from the from the front, and from the side. And we'll close that off there. So close. I had to open up my mouth. So show you know an object is created using eight blocks. It has the following top, front, and side views. Sketch what the object looks like on isometric dot paper. So we were going to have a cube. And that's going to be one square deep. And we know that it's going to be empty in the middle. Uh, you know, art. So that's kind of what it's going to look like with if you wanted to separate it. We have different blocks right there. That's, that's what it would look like as a 3D object. So example three, predict and draw the front top.
top and side views after a rotation. So the, the, the rotation is the tricky part. The diagrams show the top, front, and side views of the computer tower. So if this is the top, that's the top. The side view is really big here. And the, the front is, you know, there would be the, the U there with the circle and then the, the different drives in here. Um, so that's the front view. So we, you want to rotate the computer 90 degrees clockwise um, on its base to fit in your new desk. Predict which view you will believe will become the front view after the rotation. So if we rotate this 90 degrees, a 90 degree rotation. Oh man, I am having trouble with this. 90 degree rotation. Clockwise. I'm just trying to think here. I believe that it's going to rotate this way. Because that would be clockwise, that would be on its base. So I would say that the clockwise, the, the new front would be this one here because the, the front is the old side. So as we scroll up, this front or this side now becomes this front. This is now the front, new front. So that's how it, when, we, when we rotate it, you have to actually think about it in your head and spinning onto which side it is. If you would like to new, do more um, uh, more work, anyways, so uh, the, the homework is actually found. So 8N, don't, you don't need to do this. Um, our homework is at the back of the class. Everybody else, that's what you're working on. Thanks.